Okay, Tuesday, June 11th. Uh, This is the day that supposedly that like conflicting energy is supposed to come in. I talked about that in the intro. So take a look if you haven't. We did our heart bake based work yesterday for a reason and that's so we could work on these other two kind of wavelengths today we're looking at the vibrations of freedom creativity and the soul self and that means we're looking at these kind of wavelengths in the uh, energy centers of the sacral chakra and the throat chakra here so um, the sacral chakra is the place where your emotions live where anything that you bring into the world is incubated nurtured it's kind of your womb of creation Um, so your your feelings are a big part of that we want to have some nice emotional balance Um, and then um, that's kind of also the center like basically of your free will that's kind of that center and then the throat chakra is um, the place where anything that you do create sort of has to pass through and the idea is that it holds such a strong vibration of your soul that you know as things pass through they almost like are are measured against and they have to sort of um be in line with your soul in order to keep the throat chakra in the right balance and when you do then the things that are coming through the ideas that you get you're able to incubate them and then they're able to enter the world um with ease and with freedom and so everything that we're talking about and with the fulfillment of your soul so now you can see why these two kind of wavelengths would be helping us generate freedom creativity and you know really drop into our soul self and our authentic self so the way we're going to do this is through some chanting some sound and some breath work Um, so we'll kind of do it in this order the chant that we're going to use Va, whoops, that didn't look right. Va, mm, this is actually a seed mantra chant for the sacral chakra, but we're going to be doing it aloud um, and we're going to be activating the throat chakra. So, the reason I'm not using the throat chakra um, chant is that it would just be a little bit of overkill on that throat chakra. So, we want to engage it, but not too much. So, you're going to chant for, I would say, like, because we want to ramp up this energy, I would do seven minutes. But if you can, you know, don't have seven minutes, don't because we're going to do something directly following this too. Um, so seven minutes would be ideal. Va, um, no, nothing. Just this is quiet time. So you really don't want any distraction and especially sound. You can think of this seed mantra chant as a way to just generate brand new, fresh, just totally untouched, pure vibration okay and and as we chant this va mm, that is the sound for you know to to tell the vibrations that what we want are something in this wavelength here then we're going to follow it up with sound we're going to do a 578 hertz which is also you can see this is sort of on the higher end of this wavelength and this vibration for the sacral chakra I would do this for seven minutes at least you could do it for more if you feel like it but it feels like seven is nope you could do it for more if you feel like it so this is kind of like programming you got these fresh energy compare it to like a stem cell idea stem cell is the base cell as it develops it gets this programming from the DNA that says hey become this so we're saying hey become stuff that helps us with our free will and our creativity and and nurturing and and bringing into the world um, anything that we like and especially things that soothe our soul and make our soul complete Um, so you can do some breath work i would do the breath work through the left nostril Um, so just close the right nostril Um, this is in theory activating the more creative you know feminine yin part of the brain um and so that's why we're closing that right nostril to get some of that you know breath of life into um to to invigorate the creative brain not that we don't need the analyzing brain again we just we're letting it take a back seat if you are up for it you can do by the way just regular breathing i would do slow deep breaths if you can exhale a little bit longer than the inhale is always really good um if you're up for it i would do 
the breath of fire through that um, left nostril. If you don't have experience with breath work, um, this one, in per- I mean, always consult a healthcare professional before you start doing new things with your body. But this one in particular, because this this can get you lightheaded. And um, so if you're not I, familiar with it and you don't feel it's right for you, don't try the breath of fire. Alternatively, aside from like easy breathing and breath of fire, you could do some four, seven, eight breathing, but still through that left nostril. This is good just to kind of calm the whole nervous system. So it never really hurts to throw that in, especially because I feel like there's like a little bit of a rebellious vibe coming up. Um, And I feel like because we plant things sort of in the collective, you know, by saying like, oh, there's going to be all this tension and you're going to want to rebel and and get rid of convention and all this stuff. Like um, I would say let's feed, we already are kind of feeding the the inner rebel because what's more rebellious than saying you know f everything i'm going to do my life however i want to do it and i'm going to move however i choose um you know so long as it's not hurting other people um but also some movement will help just really think of it, you know this energy if you're feeling rebellious sort of let your energy out. You can do the shakes and the wiggles if that's all you can do, but like dancing, any kind of dancing, freestyle, whatever kind of dancing you can do, just moving your body around your house, great. The longer, the better. So as long as you can tolerate fun things like playing tag. Um, If you're, you know, you could, if you're like a runner, you could do more interesting things like do some suicides or sprints or, you know, go up and down the hill backward, things like that. But just really want something kind of innovative, but also that has movement in it. And then the work we did yesterday with the heart and this together, I think you'll be in some really good shape.